Here's some examples of dividing a decimal and a fraction. Let's start with the decimal 0 0.18 and let's divide that by 2 fifths. So generally the best approach here is to change the decimal into a fraction. So we can express 0 0.18 as 18 over 100 and we're dividing that by 2 fifths. We could simplify 18 over 100 and make it 9 over 50, taking out the common factor of 2. Then we can apply invert and multiply or keep change flip, keep the 9 over 50, change the division to a multiplication, flip the 2 over 5 so it becomes 5 over 2, and then multiply the numerators and multiply the denominators and we get our answer. 0.45. Let's do a second example. Let's do this time a fraction divided by a decimal. So same strategy as before, express the decimal as a fraction. So 1.2 would be 12 divided by 10 or 6 divided by 5. Then I'll do keep change flip and then I'll multiply the numerators and multiply the denominators and then I'll simplify that because there's a common factor of five, uh, 3, sorry. So take out the factor of 3 and 15 and we'll get 5, take out the factor 3 from 24, we'll get 8. And we could stop here, we could leave the answer as a fraction here or we could go one more step and express that as a decimal. 5 eighths is the same as 0.65. Third example, let's do 1.25 divided by 5 sixths. Express the 1.25 as a fraction, so that's 1 and a quarter, so 5 over 4. Divide by 5 sixths. Let's apply keep change flip and then multiply the numerators, multiply the denominators, and then simplify and then express as a decimal. So 1.5. So there's a few examples of dividing when you've got both a decimal and a fraction.